Hello friends, we back for another pancake reaction. I mean Gundam reaction. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, um if you guys didn't know, uh there's like a running gag we're doing in the previous uh Gundam opening reaction. People uh, advise me that these videos are gonna sell like pancakes. So I was like, put pancakes in the comments. Whether you like it, pancake. Whether you hate it, pancake. Whether you like me, pancake. Whether you hate me, pancake. Okay. So today we're gonna be checking out just seven openings because when I was checking number 11 to 20, I did see the Gundam wing openings are there and we already did a video for that so you can just search that you can just put Gundam wing dashing Kevs and I'm sure it's gonna pop up right there and number 20 started Gundam seed so I wanna put all of those in one video so we're probably gonna get a longer video uh, for the next one right so yeah um, without further ado let's check out this one The shining finger one. Oh, I did see a few of these. Maybe less than ten. My brother was really obsessed with this when we were young. The whole shining finger. Oh, it's that guy. The martial artist, yeah. That's like the master Gundam, right? That's in the game too, Gundam Battle of Soul. So this is the burning Gundam, right? Oh my god. Oh, that is fucking huge. Alright. So that was the first opening for Mobile Fighter G. Interesting. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the one where there is you you're like wearing a suit and then you're basically controlling the Gundam, right? Like if you move your left hand, the Gundam will move its left hand. Something like that, right? If I'm not mistaken. There was something like that, uh, if I can remember correctly. So I, I, I believe this is that one, right? So I have seen a few episodes of this. Damn, that was cool to see. That was cool to see. And we, we kind of get some of those from like the previous... Uh, I mentioned in the previous video, I used to play Gundam Battle Assault 2, a PS1 game that had like a good chunk of Gundams. They had like, I think maybe 30 Gundam so you know we are getting to that stage right the first 10 openings we saw only had like one or two Gundams right now we're starting the whole party Gundam we have like five in the party and we're fighting other Gundams I guess so yeah um the song was hella catchy right and I can imagine it's only better if uh, you have context, if you watch the actual show, right? So that was a really strong uh, first opening. Yeah, because they have like the arena, right? I think this is like a competition, like a tournament. Yep. Oh yeah, we see the Master Gundam now. Ooh. 
Yeah, and you can see like the progression with the art style. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was saying. He was inside the suit, right? Not in a cockpit, but in a control room. All right. So yeah, this is Gundam Wing. We already saw this, so we'll just skip that, and then the next one. So about the about the first two, the second one was pretty good. I was saying in the first video that, um. I, I want them to start making new openings, not just copy pasting like majority of the of the first to the second, right? But I think there's also something to be said about when you transform it, right? When you saw like that the 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 kung fu master guy, and then he transitioned with another guy, and they showed like his Gundam in the background. That was a really sick transition. So there are ways to make it tasty even if you copy paste it. So that's kind of my expectations. I would want them to do more things like that. Make it a tasty opening. If you're going to copy paste, make it tasty or just make it a new opening altogether. Right. So we're going to check out Gundam X. So we're in the 96, 96 now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got like we got a more polished animation too. And we're getting more variety with the Gundams, right? Like that one looked like heavy arms, right? And then the one with the long arms, like Shen Long Gundam, right? It, it looks very similar to that. Okay, alright. So the first one for Gundam X, I would say the song was whatever, right? Let's be honest. The song was whatever. Visuals look really clean. We're getting to a bit um, we're getting a bit more modern now. Better better quality for the for the animation, better design, and we're getting more of the variety, right? You you have like the more distinct uh Gundam designs whether it's just uh the aesthetics or the tools that they have right so opening two Okay, okay, we're getting a completely new opening. That's that's nice to see. Yeah, that was a nice scene. Okay, they're copy pasting this one. The, 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 those two got Gundams. Yo, this looks like a boss Gundam. Man. The double rail guns. Damn. Okay. 
so that seemed like a bit it looked a bit better right some some upgrades with like the the visuals song slightly better as well just slightly better We're getting more political here in the open, right? We're seeing more of the actual characters, not just Gundams, you know, like machines all the time. The song is pretty good too. It has a certain vibe to it, right? There was also like less emphasis on the there was also less emphasis on the Gundams, right? We see more characters, we see military stuff, tanks, you know, building Gundams and whatnot. So we're we're getting a more holistic uh view to the show in that in that regard. The song, one of the better ones we've seen so far. Um has a certain vibe to it that you could tell uh, if you're watching the show. It's not just that vibe. It's also a grow on you song. Something you'll appreciate even more uh, the longer you watch the show. And, you know, if you watch it again, I'm sure it grows even more. So, yeah. Uh, turn A, Gundam. Turn A, Gundam. Oh! <laughs> Turn a Gundam. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Oh, she pregnant? Oh no. <laughs> Damn, we got like mustache, like the white beard mustache. Okay, so the first turn A opening. Oh, man. I want to say I it was good, but damn, there was a lot of dry spots there. Like, I think the highlight there was just the intro of, you know, the announcer being turn a gundam like ooh, right that made you go ooh. that was definitely a pancake moment right put some pancakes in the comments um yeah the, it, the visuals were I, I would say the visuals were below average if i'm being honest uh gundam design whatever right so it was a so so a so so opening let's see if the second one can like you know redeem it Turn a Gundam. Ah! 
Vamos ter lá, velho. <risos> Why do I have a feeling Turn A Gundam is one of the less popular ones? Like the character design doesn't look all too good. The, the Gundam design doesn't look all too good. Hopefully the story is good. I thought the Gundam had wings. Alright. Okay, alright. Okay, so we're at the seed. So that's going to be in the next video. Um, opening 2. Opening 2 was really similar to opening 1. So, yeah. Um, I was saying in the previous ones that we're getting to that stage where we have like the party, right? Like more Gundams. And then we get to turn A. And we kind of got stuck with one Gundam. And then I guess in opening 2, we got three Gundams. So the, the party grew somehow. Um, but for the most part, it seemed like from a visual perspective, it looks one of the less interesting Gundams, uh, shows, right? But leave it in the comments, like from a scale of like, you know, all the Gundams, like where does it rank there? Is it like average, above average, below average, like top tier, bottom tier, you know, stuff like that. I'm interested to like check out like w how does the community view the Gundams, right? So yeah, if you guys like the content, like comment, subscribe, put some pancakes on the comments because I've been hungry lately. I need some pancakes, man. And uh, if you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.